Hey everyone, this is Osam awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. In this tutorial, I will explain to you how to create a listing template for custom content type and displaying data in a grid format. So like this one. So as an example, I have publications in the custom content type uh, with some meta fields such as publications camera image and titles and authors and the publication dates here and then we got um, different languages. And in my view, you should use custom content types rather than custom post type as much as you can because you can increase your website performance. And here are tutorial requirements. So you need a jet engine plugin and the custom content type enabled. And I use Elementor page builder, so it's free version. So let's get started. So you need jet engine plugin activated. And then let's go to jet engine and make sure you have custom content types enabled. All right. And then now you will see the custom content types right here. And if you don't have anything, uh, let's create. Add a new. So I'm going to create a publications. And then so database table names already uh, created automatically. Okay. And then I usually use a single page, uh, f especially for this publication. So I'm going to just uh, turn this on. And then so uh, related post types. So I'm going to use post. Now this is, um, now this means that the title field and content field records goes to uh, WP post database. Uh, however, so all the meta, meta field you created goes to specific database table here. Okay. So this optimize the web speed performance. And then now, so I don't have anything here. So I have to create a meta field. Uh, but before that, so let's finish this section. Um, menu icon. So I'm going to use uh, a book icon and the menu position. So you can pick, um, this is your preference. So I'm going to just uh, go just below dashboard. And then the rest of that, so I'm going to just disable. And I'm not going to be using a REST API endpoint for this tutorial. So let's uh, add content type here. Okay. Let's move on to adding new fields. So first I need publication title and then the field type text is okay. And I'm going to make it the required. And the next one is publication details. And then I'm going to use a uh, wazy wazy. Okay. And then, so add another one. Publication date. And I'm going to use date. And I'm going to save this as timestamp. That's required. XYZ author. Uh, field type text is OK. And then this is also required. Uh, you know what? Maybe not. And then the uh, next one is, I'm going to use language. Okay. And then the field type, uh, I'm going to choose radio. And I created a glossary for this. I quickly showed it to you. I uh, got jet engine, open new tab. And here you see the glossary. I have already created publication language and I have uh, English, French, and bilingual. Okay, so let's go back to CCT and right here. So I want to just use the glossary. Okay, select the glossary, publication, language. So layout, use the horizontal. All right, so I'm going to make it the required. Okay, and the last one is I want to add image for the cover for the publication. So we uh, have Cover image. Okay. Uh, the field type is going to be media. Okay. And then format media ID. And now let's uh, go back up here. Here. Uh, now title field. I'm going to pick publication title. 
in the content field, I'm going to pick publication details. Okay. And they hit update content type. Now, so let's move on to admin column. All right. So I need the publication title on the admin column. And then, yeah. And also I like to have language here too. And I like to make it suitable. And I'm going to have a uh, created date here. And suitable will be good. And this is the uh, numeric field. All right. So let's uh, update content type. Now you'll see publication right here. Okay. So let's click that. And there, so let's add new. So I have this cover here, so that the green revolution. So this is a publication uh, written by Pat Jones. Okay. So I'm going to just, so let's add that. So that is a title. And there, so I'm going to just uh, copy, paste the fake text right here. Okay. And publication date. And author is, and this is English. And then, so I'm going to choose media. Okay. So let's upload. Yeah. So this one, so hit upload. Okay. Choose media and add. Okay. So let's go to publication. Okay. So now has title and language and created date. So I'm going to keep adding. So I'm going to stop my video and I'm going to keep adding uh, for the rest of the publications. Now I got the six publications here and then the both English and some French language. Next, let's create a listing template. So go to Jenna engine and they here listings and then add a new. So listing source is going to be custom content type. Okay. And then select the content type, publications, and then listing item name, publication CCT template. And now I'm going to use Elementor. Okay, so let's create one. So I'm going to just uh, use one section here, and I'm going to keep it to a uh, you know small 500. And so I'm looking for. Dynamic image first. I'm going to just drag and drop here. And the source is going to be CCT publication with cover image. And alignment I'm in the middle. And I like to um, link the image here on the palm link. All right. So next one is I'm going to use dynamic field. And the source is going to be post term user object. And then object field should be, all right. So I got the content type publications. Uh, it's going to be publication title. Okay. And I'm going to make it to uh, a little bigger here. And then again, I'm going to use dynamic field. I'm looking for content type publication, publication uh, author. It's right here. Right, and I'm going to customize our field output. So I'm going to put that, that. And I'm going to just style a little bit here. So, this. so just a little bit, a little bit up here. And then this two, little bit up here. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this. And then this one, next one is, I'm going to pick publication date. Okay. And then, so I'm going to just uh, type date. Okay. And a filter, field output. So I'm going to make it to, uh, yeah, format date. The legacy. Okay. Uh, should it work to format date? Yeah. Okay. And then duplicate again. Uh, next one is I'm going to be using language. And then here, oops, right. Okay. 
in there, so I don't need a filter for that. It should be English, uh, but I have to change the style here. Go style, uh, typography, and transform. And I'm gonna capitalize here. So now it says English. And then I uh, hit update. So let's go back to a dashboard. And then, so the next one is, so let's create a page for publication listing. Okay. So go to pages and add a new. Publications and I'm going to be using Elementor. And so, uh, so using a listing grid, just drag and drop. And then uh, I think, uh, so which listing? Publications. Publication listing template CCT. Okay, so here we go. And then let's go ahead and publish. So let's uh, take a take a quick look here, view page. And uh, here is the publication listing. So these are CCT listing. And I linked those images to the permalinks. And if I click one of those images, it takes you to a single entry. I haven't yet created a custom single page template for CCT, but you can do that. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to Crocblock channel for more useful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.